let's learn some magic. Today, we're going to be looking at some tools that help us build spells in hex casting. Which means we need to go into a completely different place. This is the Hex Studio interface. When you draw a pattern on it, just like you would in the game, the pattern appears here in this list of patterns and it gives you the name of it. You can also type the name of a pattern and use tab completion and it'll add the pattern. If you use something like a compass purification, you do have to set your X, Y, and Z values. Otherwise, they'll just appear in the stack as zero. The second item here is the stack, and it will show you the progress of your spell as you're putting it together, which is a very handy way to tell if something's not behaving the way you expected it to. Let's go ahead here and put in a few more bits of information. I'm just going to pick some random, some random values. Now our stack has this vector. And we can use that to test things like vector disintegration and see how that stack reacts. And we can do things like apply gestures gambit to it. We can duplicate parts of the stack. And in general, just see what's actually happening at each stage of the spell process. Once we have the pattern that we like, it is possible to export the pattern. Obviously, we can just save it as is, but we can also take that information sort in a notebook, add commas to the ends of each line. Unfortunately, this does have to be done manually at this time. Copy that, go to the Discord, use the patterns hex command, and paste our comma separated patterns, and we get the result of what the patterns are, including the pattern drawing order. This is not visible to other users unless we choose show it to everyone. For example, if we needed help with a spell or to show off a really cool spell that we've written. And of course, you can grab a screenshot of this to have an easy reference for drawing your patterns in your game. The Hex Casting Forums have a variety of helpful spells that have already been built by people. And you can select that code and copy it, then return to your Hex Grid, the import patterns, and paste that in. And we'll add it to your existing project in the, whatever state it's in. And as you see, all of the patterns appear on the grid. So you can get a sort of a sense of how much room you'll need when you do a spell. You can then modify what you've pasted in by Xing out patterns or by setting an insertion point above or below. And once you've set your insertion point, you can type your pattern down below like, just like you did before. If you realize you've put a pattern in the wrong place, you can use these three lines and drag and drop it to where you need to have it in your spell and the pattern grid will update accordingly.